Good evening. Welcome to the Focal Point. I don't know if you know of these guys. I imagine you probably do. IBM A Entertainer of the Year, uh, regulars at the Grand Old Opry, and they've finally worked their way up to the Focal Point. So please give them a warm Focal Point welcome. Thank you. I was rolling through Atlanta, I was down to my last time. That's when my better judgment lost control. I hit the liquor store and I hit the gas. It all hit the fan when the blue light flashed. I said, son, you're gonna pay for what you stole. I thought I was a bad man and the law did not apply. I guess you know just how the story ends. Well, I'm doing time in the Georgia Slammer, breaking rocks with a nine pound hammer. Swearing I'll never break the law again. Shackles on my feet. That old judge is smiling down at me. Said, Boy, you're gonna curse the day you ever stepped on Georgia Clay. Your soul is gone, but the rest belongs to me. I thought I was a bad man and the law did not apply. I guess you know just how the story ends. Well, I'm doing time in the Georgia Slammer, breaking rocks with a nine pound. Swearing I'll never break the law again Put in Georgia anymore. Never more will I steal and rob. Forget myself and honey's job. I won't be swinging no hammer, that's for sure. I thought I was a bad man and the law did not apply. I guess you know just how the story ends. Well, I'm doing time in the Georgia Slammer, breaking rocks with a nine pound hammer. Swearing I'll never break the law again Swearing I'll never break the law again Daily, we 
we want to drink the good old Mountain Dew. They took poor Katie Daly But very soon the gates were open wide An angel came for poor old Katie Daly And took her far across the great divide Come down the mountain, Katie Daly Come down the mountain, Katie do She'll never more be coming down the mountain And never more will pick her mountain do I've been to the doctor, he says I'm all right I know he's lying, I'm losing my sight He should have examined the eyes of my mind 2020 vision and walking round blind Wish I was dead. This is my promise. We waited too long. Honey, honey, vision and walking round blind. <laughs> you just couldn't know her the way that I do. You say. there with you the eyes of your heart will have trouble like mine 2020 vision and walking round blind 2020 vision and walking round blind
Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you to the Focal Point for having the doors open on a Sunday night as we're passing through St. Louis. And glad to have the house filling up. Thanks for being here with the Radio Ramblers. Thanks for the good sound. Everything's going just right. And thanks for the hot yeah. tip for old Flash over here. <laughs> Let me introduce the Radio Ramblers very briefly. We're called that because I'm a native of southwestern Ohio. Good bluegrass territory. We'll talk about industrial strength bluegrass here in a second. But in my area, uh, when I'm not on the road with this band, I've been on radio for 40 years now, presenting bluegrass and old-time country and gospel music. If you look up Real Roots Radio, realrootsradio.com, listen on any device anywhere in the world, and when I'm not on the road, I'm on that station, that network, a couple hours a day. My dad was a fiddler and a broadcaster, so I've been a broadcaster and a banjo picker for about 40 years now. This band's been working for the last 16 years, and uh, the fiddle player, only the second fiddle player in the band, and he's here to stay. We love this guy. He came from Portland, Tennessee, to work in St. Louis tonight. That's just north of Nashville, part of our show the last eight years. Not only did he write the tune that he just played, he built the fiddle that he played it on. He's one of the most talented guys you'll get acquainted with. That boy, do, it. do a whole lot of that. You'll love what he does tonight. This is Jason Barry. There's the fiddle player. Well, you've seen a whole lot of the mandolin player already. You're liable to see anything out of this guy. He's always the entertainer on stage and off. We saw that years ago. He, he worked with the Lonesome River Band for quite a time after growing up down in the hills of Kentucky and working for the famous Renfro Valley Barn Dance a long time. Yeah. But most folks saw him in his dozen years or so with Daly and Vincent. He helped Jamie and Darren establish their show and make it to the Grand Ole Opry. And thank goodness, he's going on two years now as part of our little show, and uh, he gets the job done. Big talent, big voice, great uh, Madeline man. This is Jeff Parker. There's Jeff. <laughs> Let's keep it in Kentucky for another introduction. The bass man, part of the show, be nine years this fall, and he's been not only the bass player, but the bass singer. And we've got some gospel quartet music to sing for you tonight. We have a new gospel album available. Uh, he also a Kentuckian from down, uh, not far from Berea, Kentucky, near Richmond, and uh, solid as a rock. And uh, uh, if, uh, if you don't believe everything I say about him, ask his wife. She's got a lot to say about him every time he comes home. Yeah. Um, he's super talent, been on stages all over the world. This is Randy Barnes. Randy Barnes. <laughs> Founding member of the show, 16 years ago, he wasn't too many years out of high school. We started the Radio Ramblers. His guitar style, his great grasp of his own unique vocal style, and his yeah. ability to help arrange the harmonies for the band. They've really been an asset for the last decade plus for the Radio Ramblers. He's the only other Buckeye on the stage. He lives at Franklin, Ohio. Nice hand for Adam McIntosh. There's Adam. <laughs> Promise some gospel music, Somewhere Beyond the Blue, is the latest album by the Radio Ramblers. It's been around just about the past year. And this is the opening track. Marty Stewart and the late Jerry Sullivan wrote this song years ago. Suits our quartet just fine. Jeff starts us on the mandolin for gospel time. This is Here Jerusalem Calling. <laughs> tell you about a man from Galilee, baptized by John the Baptist, born a virgin birth. He was a man that knew no sin while here upon this earth. Hear Jerusalem calling. Jesus is his name. The wind is crying holy, trying to explain. Tell me, River of Jordan, did you ever know that the Son of God was walking on your shores? That the Son of God was walking on your shores. He was dead 
Hit by the devil, he offered him the world. But he would not trade the souls he saved for diamonds, gold, and pearls. Hell could not hold him, he took away the Broke the bonds of sin when he died upon the tree. Here's Jerusalem calling. Jesus is his name. The wind is crying holy, trying to explain. Tell me, river of Jordan, did you ever know that the Son of God was walking on your shores? That the Son of God was walking on your shore. Brother, will you join me? Sister, will you go? Take you to a healing stream where living waters flow. Make your preparations, you must be born again. That's the way that you can stay free from a world of sin. Hear Jerusalem calling. Jesus is his name. The wind is crying holy, trying to explain. Tell me, river of Jordan, did you ever know that the Son of God was walking on your shores? That the Son of God was walking on your shores? That the Son of God was walking on your shores? That the Son of God was walking on your shores? Thank you. Thank you so far, very kindly. God bless you. Thanks for your kind attention, your generous applause, and uh, for our gospel music. Somewhere Beyond the Blue is the latest album. The title comes from this next song, and it's brand new. We were fortunate to have several uh, really great writers submit songs for the new album, and a young man from up in central Pennsylvania. Uh, we, we, we recorded the first song uh, from this guy. You'll hear many more. We've already got a couple picked out for the next album. Got a gift for saying a lot in just a few verses. And this song really spoke to me because we were working on this album right as everybody was digging and clawing to overcome the pandemic and be able to gather again in places like the Focal Point or at your church on Sunday or at a family <coughs> reunion. And uh, the song came to us, and I thought, now that's something we can, we can get on with right there because it's got a great spiritual message, speaks about a home, uh, an eternal home in heaven someday, uh, but now and until someday, we've got a lot of living left to do. <laughs> Fields are full of days are long. My mind is short, my back is strong. But I won't be headed home till the sky is lost its blue. While I still got some living left to do. I still got some living left to do. Till I see my setting sun Until my work on earth is done I'll keep my hand on the plow Lord, I'm gonna see it through While I've still got some living left to do i still got some living left to do Then I'll close my Then I'll meet you in the morning Somewhere beyond the blue But for now 
I've got some living left to do Now I've got some living left to do Where my blood has lost its fire When comfort overtakes desire You'll be holding on to me Like I'm holding on to you Knowing I still got some living left to do I still got some living left to do let the ages turn my bones to dust My turning plow and rock and rust You better lay me in the ground With a pair of walking shoes Cause I've still got some living left to do I've still got some living left to do then I'll close my eyes and smile Maybe I can dream a while Then I'll meet you in the morning Somewhere beyond the blue But for now I've got some living left to do I've still got some living left to do I still got some living left to do. Thank you. Well, the cuckoo, she's a pretty bird. She warbles as she flies, but I never give her water till the fourth day. Of July Jack and Diamonds Jack and Diamonds I know you Of old You have all My poor pockets Of silver And of gold Oh the cuckoo She's a pretty bird She warbles As she flies but I never give her water till the fifth day of July. Gonna build me on a mountain so high So that I can see my true love As she passes by Oh, the cuckoo, she's a pretty bird She warbles as she flies But I never give her water Till the sixth day of July I'm 
I'll be all right tomorrow. I'll be all right tomorrow. I'll be all right tomorrow. I may be a little bit tired tonight, but I'll be all right tomorrow. Cause my baby's coming home. Thank you. Thank you very much. A whole lot of picking and singing there. Both of those little songs we sewed together came from Bluegrass Hall of Fame members, the Osborne Brothers. Oh, we love their music. Uh, Sonny's passed away last fall after enjoying a retirement for many years. Bobby turned 90 years old uh, December the 7th this past winter. Occasionally a Grand Ole Opry appearance, but he's retired from touring after so many years. Mention those details. Early in the evening, I mentioned that I'm from southwestern Ohio, the home of industrial strength bluegrass. The Osborne brothers were born in poverty in eastern Kentucky in the 1930s. Their dad took a job in Dayton, Ohio in the early 1940s, right at the onset of World War II. They finished growing up and first started playing and singing in the greater Dayton, Ohio area, right where the Radio Ramblers started 16 years ago. Uh, that kind of started a shot heard around the world uh, that became named Industrial Strength Bluegrass. The big Appalachian migration pulled all kinds of people out of Kentucky and Tennessee and West Virginia, and a bunch of them landed at good factory jobs in the area where I grew up. That's how my dad landed there as a radio personality and a fiddle player. Well, there's all kinds of stories that go straight from Ohio to the Bluegrass Hall of Fame. The, and the name was given by Dr. Neil V. Rosenberg years ago, Industrial Strength Bluegrass, because uh, he wrote the book on bluegrass, and he said nobody makes better bluegrass than homesick hillbillies. And in the 50s and 60s and 70s, you had them up every alley and behind every tree and working every type of machine at every type of factory. The Osborne Brothers, Red Allen, Larry Sparks, Jimmy Martin, Reno and Smiley, Flatt and Scruggs even. Part of the industrial strength bluegrass story because Cincinnati, that's where everybody went to make records before they went to Nashville. A bunch of them were made in Cincinnati uh, by, by Jimmy Martin and Bobby Osborne and Sonny Osborne and, and the Stanley Brothers, and Lester and Earl. So all the details are in a book and in an album. We're gonna do the opening track of the album. The album is an all-star collection I mean, everybody from Leanne Womack, who's one of the greatest vocalists in all of Roots music history, to Bluegrass Hall of Famers, Doyle Lawson and Bobby Osborne, Grand Ole Opry stars Rhonda Vincent and Vince Gill, Bluegrassers, including the Radio Ramblers and the Graskills, uh, all part of the album Industrial Strength Bluegrass. It was the 2021 Bluegrass Album of the Year. This opens the album, and it's the story of that Appalachian migration. Dwight Yoakam of country music and Roots music fame, he grew up in poverty in eastern Kentucky. His family headed north to Ohio so his dad could get work when he was a boy, just like my dad did. That's how come Dwight wrote this song, and we was blessed to have a bluegrass hit with it. It's called Reading, Writing, and Route 23. They learn reading, writing, Route 23 To the jobs that lay waiting in those cities' factories They didn't know that old highway could lead them to a world of misery Have you ever been down Kentucky Way, say south of Prestonsburg? Have you ever been up in a holler? Off his life away, digging that black coal in those dark mines. Those 
dark minds If you had, you might just understand The reason that they left it all behind They learned reading, writing Round 23 To the jobs that lay waiting In those cities' factories They learned reading, writing Roads to the north, to the luxury and comfort a coal miner can't afford. They thought reading, writing, Route 23 would take them to the good life they had never seen. They didn't know that old highway could lead them to a world of misery. in the car after work on a Friday night. Pull up in the holler about 2 a.m. and see a light still burning bright. Those mountain folks set up that late to hold those little grandkids in their arms, in their arms. And I'm proud to say that I've been blessed and touched by their sweet hillbilly charm. They learn reading, writing, Route 23 to the jobs that lay waiting in those cities' factories. They learn reading, writing, roads to the north, to the luxury and comfort a coal miner can't afford. They thought reading, writing, Route 23 would take them to the good life they had never seen. They didn't know that old highway could lead them to a world of misery. And I thank God for every trip back home, heading south on Highway 23. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you very kindly. That's a uh, that's tune from Banjo great Bill Emerson, who passed away last year. Last year was rough on banjo, the banjo world. We lost three Hall of Famers, Bill Emerson, Sonny Osborne, and the late J.D. Crow. Bill Emerson put that tune together with the king of bluegrass, Jimmy Martin. Mike and Jan Dillon, God bless you. We sure had a great afternoon of food and fellowship on their big front porch, just a few, few blocks away from right here. They're regulars here in the St. Louis region when it comes to bluegrass fans and uh, hosts and hostesses uh, that had us come by early. So we got in town this afternoon, worked Harrison, Arkansas yesterday and had an easy trip into town today and got to spend uh, some uh, good quality time around yeah, their dude. kitchen table and on the front porch and Thank you so much for the uh, wonderful hospitality and the great food. Appreciate that. If you can come to Ohio this fall, you'll be our guest at the Industrial Strength Bluegrass Festival. We have a humdinger of a weekend. Come about Veterans Day. This fall, it's November 10, 11, and 12. The Roberts Convention Center is barely over six hours from where we are right now. Uh, it's just north of Cincinnati. And that's where we produce the Industrial Strength Bluegrass Festival. We'll host uh, some bluegrass stars, including Dan Tominski and the Grass Schools and Rob Ikes and Trey Hensley and the Dale McCurry Band and about a dozen others. Uh, and uh, tickets go on sale in about a month. We've got our first little flyer brochure back there. Take that with you or log on. Go ahead and put yourself on the mailing list, the email list, at uh, industrialstrengthbluegrass.com. That's once worth the trip. We'll have yep. Radio Rambler's friends and fans and family there from all over the country. We'd love for you to come. Mike and Jan will be our guest. They'll have to park cars, but they'll be our guest. <laughs> all right, we'll do a couple more things, and we'll take a very brief intermission. We'll, we'll circle back to the newest album released a year ago. It's a collection of songs of faith and inspiration called Somewhere Beyond the Blue. Singing News Magazine is the Gospel Industries uh, publication that goes worldwide. They have a bluegrass music chart for bluegrass gospel music. This song is number one this month and will be number one throughout the month of June. Jeff Parker leads this tune. Randy Barnes, you still got your bass voice back there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're all ready. This is entitled There's No New Way Home. <laughs> There's only one way to glory, but there's countless wrong turns you could take. God gave us one set of direction, a road map that never has changed. There's no new way home. There's no new way home. There's no new way home. You still have to go by the old rugged cross, oh brother. There's no new way home Just follow the blood drops to Calvary The trail Jesus slipped for the cross Then press on to you reach the Jordan That river the saints have all crossed There's no new way home There's no new way home There's no new way home You still have Go by your rugged cross, oh brother, there's no new way home. Modern day scholars may tell you there's an easier way to get there, but there's still only one straight and narrow. All other roads lead to despair. There's no new way home. There's no new way home. There's no new way home. You still have to go by the old rugged cross. Oh, brother, there's no new way home. You still have to go by the old rugged cross. Oh, brother, there's no new I will cling to the old rugged cross and 
exchange it someday for a crown. Thank you, Jimmy Bean. Thank you. Say you're worth some sacrificing And there ain't much I won't change to be with you But I've got to say you're asking me for something I'm not sure that I could ever do I'll bring your mom to church with us on Sundays Join the gym and try to stay real lean But if I could, I'm asking one small favor I've got to have some bacon in my beans Bacon in my beans Bacon in my beans That's how a country boy survives So baby, don't be mean I'll cut back on the burgers And make vegetables routine But I've got to have some bacon in my beans Well, I know that it would help my circulation and hogs across the country would be glad But beans without some salt and grease of some kind Can only be described as really bad I know that it's against your constitution And you've made it clear you think it's obscene But I can't help the way my mama raised me And I've got to have some bacon in my beans Bacon in my beans Bacon in my beans, that's how a country boy survives, so baby don't be mean. I'll cut back on the burgers and make vegetables routine, but I've got to have some bacon in my beans. had it just perfect today. Green beans with an abundance of bacon. Hallelujah. Well, you know, I really love your vegan smoothies. And almond milk and raisin bran's just fine. I'll even eat your spinach quiche for breakfast and your tofu lasagna with red wine. I know you're looking out for my best interest But baby, there just ain't no in-between Now I promise you, you'll never have to eat them But I've got to have some bacon in my beans Bacon in my beans, bacon in my beans That's how a country boy survives, so baby, don't be mean I'll cut back on the burgers and make vegetables routine I've got to have some bacon in my beans. Bacon in my beans, bacon in my beans. Pinto white, red or navy, and darling, especially green. I'll cut back on the burgers, make vegetables routine. But I've got to have some bacon in my beans. Can I get an amen? I've got to have some bacon in my beans. Judy, that's for you, too. Yeah, you've been putting beans in that old man's bacon, uh, bacon in that old man's beans for a long time, ain't you? You know what I meant. One of the grass gals is here, our great friend. Now, we're going to do a tune with just the five string and the fiddle while the merch crew makes their way back to the corner. Jeff and Adam uh, will make their way to the corner with small quarters, and thank goodness we've got almost a completely full house. Don't get your money out. Okay. <laughs> Just file by and drop off a credit card or all your cash, and then on your way out, we'll hand you, hand you something, okay? What key we want to play in, Jason? 
Looks like you're an A. It's, uh, it's your call. <laughs> we do A. Okay, uh, the key of A, as long as it don't sound like L. Uh, the old time style, I say old time, uh, before there was a music industry and a radio industry and records being made uh, 100 years ago, down in them Appalachian Mountains I was talking about where all my people come from, if somebody had a banjo and a fiddle, that was about all you needed for a band, whether it's a square dancer, a hoedown, or just picking in the kitchen or on the front porch. Um, my dad, being a great fiddle player, I love fiddle tunes, love Jason's fiddle style ever since we got acquainted years ago. And oftentimes we'll play a tune with just the five string and the fiddle, the old time way. Uh, Country Music and Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame members Lester Flat and Earl Scruggs featured that kind of music. It's one reason it's been a mainstay in bluegrass. Oftentimes Lester Flat would tell the crowd what I just told you, and Earl Scruggs and Bluegrass Hall of Fame fiddler Paul Warren would step up and do something just to banjo and the fiddle. I'm a pretty good tune in the key of A. What are we going to play in the key of A, JB? <laughs> okay. This um, is a tune... See, Janis Joplin did not write this. Bill Monroe actually did, but it's called the Woodstock Hornpipe. Thank you. Thank you. Brief intermission. Brief being, if you got to go, go and get back. Don't piddle around. I think we should give them a really warm focal point welcome for the second set. Please do it. <clears throat>
Well, I broke down a little way from Flagstaff Half a day before I got back on the road Well, them Highway 40 blues, well, son, I had them And then they played a good old country song And I said to myself, well, I could have come up with that And I just might when I get back home I'd be on easy street and in the paper If I'd have been the guy who wrote that song wouldn't be driving this truck if I'd wrote that song. This old bologna sandwich would be filet mignon. I'd have a Lincoln, Lincoln Navigator and a boat to tow along. I wouldn't be driving this truck if I'd wrote that song. Driving this truck, if I'd have wrote that song This old bologna sandwich would be filet mignon I'd have a Lincoln Navigator and a boat to tow along I wouldn't be driving this truck, if I'd have wrote that song Well, I can do that stuff, and I just about had enough I wouldn't be driving this truck, if I'd have wrote that song Flash. Thank you. Another nice hand for Jeff Parker on the mandolin. Adam McIntosh, great guitar man. Randy Barnes right back here. Jason Barry, the great fiddle player. Do you wonder why we live and why we die? Do you wonder why we and why we cry Do you wonder why we dance And why we fall Tell me darling Do you wonder these at all Tell me darling Do you wonder these at all
child who can't wait to go and play. I'm waiting for love to come my way. And we make this new love fit like an old shoe. Tell me, darling, please tell me true. Tell me, darling, please tell me true. Tell me, darling, please tell me true. Put me through. Been busted for things that I did and I didn't do. Well, I can't say I'm proud of all of the things that I've done, Lord. But I can't say I never intentionally hurt anyone.
Well, that kind of music out there moves me. Does it move you? Don't be shy just because you're on the film there. Hey, Jeff. What? Sorry to interrupt. We're, got, we're doing this song for this lady right down here. Well, she I, put in a request for a song that we, that we don't do usually. You know, and it couldn't be a better time because I've right. got a verse just for her. I figured you did. What's your name, honey? Lori. I'm Jeff. <laughs> But anyway, y'all like Waylon Jennings songs? Well, this is one of his songs, and a few years ago, I thought, well, I might try to sing it with the banjo. It's working out pretty good. You like it all right? Okay, this is for all you women, and especially for Lord. Beautiful lady, are you sure that you understand? Taking the chances, loving a free living man. Are you really sure you really want what you see? Be careful of something that's just what you want it to be. We've always been crazy and it keeps us from going insane. Nobody knows if it's something to bless or to blame. So far I ain't found a rhyme or a reason to stay. Thank you so much. You see that, Joe? What's that? They said I could get a raise. Oh, yeah? yeah. Thank you, folks. <laughs> Back to you, boss. Always the entertainer. Ah, you never know what kind of situation Jeff's going to wind up in, though, I'm telling you. Be careful, man. Mm -hmm. We were in Nashville a month ago, blessed to play the Grand Ole Opry again. The next day, we had a recording session downtown. And uh, just in Nashville on business for a few days, uh, we, most guys drove their own vehicle, didn't have the bus that week, and ran down and played the Opry and was meeting downtown at a recording studio the next day. Jeff got there first, and he took a walk up the street and he comes back and next door to the recording studio is this great big Catholic church. He's just standing in front of the church waiting on everybody else to show up. We finally got there. He comes in the studio, and he almost had a black eye. Something had went terribly wrong from the time we left the Opry the night before. <clears throat> <laughs> Jeff, what happened? Well, I was just standing in front of that big church over there. I said, what happened? He said, beautiful little lady came up, had her purse, had her shawl. She said, is mass out? I said, no, but your slips are showing. <laughs> That's when uh, it all went wrong. Uh, yeah. Okay, gospel time for the Radio Ramblers. <laughs> quartet back in action. Get up and go quartet tune. Everybody picks, everybody sings. This is called With the Spirit of the Lord Inside. Once I walk alone in desperation, knowing not my way back home, and my heart can find no consolation in the troubled path I roam. 
Then I found myself an old time altar Where I knelt to pray one night When I felt the tears roll down my face That's when I felt the Lord inside With the Spirit of the Lord inside There's a greater love in me When I asked Him to come in my life What a difference I could see and I know that it's a real salvation For no other it could be With the Spirit of the Lord inside There's a greater love in me You don't need a ticket, he paid the fare, listen now. If you want to go up, if you want to go up, oh, you've you got to get, get down. down. you got to get down on them old bones, that's a real good place to start. Well, get on, Bo! Ask Jesus in your heart, the road to salvation is as simple as it sounds if you want to go up if you want to go up oh, you, you gotta, gotta get, get down. down oh Saul Ooh. was struck blind before he found his way he saw the light around him then he, he began, began to pray. pray he got his sight back a new, new name and the word was spread around if you want to go up if you want to go up, oh, you, you got to get, get down. You got to get down on them old bones. That's a real good place to start. Amen. Well, get on board. Ask Jesus in your heart. The road to salvation is as simple as it sounds. If you want to go up, if you want to go up, oh, you got to get down. The road to salvation is as simple as it sounds. If you want to go up, if you want to go up, well, you, you got to get, get down. down. Thank you. Thank you for your kind attention. Acapella music, part of bluegrass for over 50 years. 
Dr. Ralph Stanley uh, was the first to consistently put a cappella music into concerts and on stages at festivals and in albums, starting in 1970. Ralph had a couple of Kentucky teenagers in the band, Ricky Skaggs and Keith Whitley. Industrial strength bluegrass. Bluegrass made in southwestern Ohio. I mentioned my dad was a broadcaster and a fiddle player. Uh, did a lot of recording with a lot of bands out of King Records in Cincinnati and so many other uh, studios that were very popular back in the day. Again, because of so many hillbillies that landed in Cincinnati and Dayton and all that neighborhood to get a job. Just outside Cincinnati in southeastern Indiana, there were some fellows that really knew how to write songs and had a great uh, trio at one time and then a quartet. The boys from Indiana, they started coming to Cincinnati and making records. And uh, my dad was with them through their first half a dozen albums. And in 1975, this is one of the biggest songs in bluegrass. It's one of those story songs that you can see it playing just like a movie reel uh, late at night on a television. Of course, the story is quite familiar uh, on the tragedy uh, that was the American Civil War. The war between the states documented in a lot of bluegrass songs None better than this one that my family is really closely connected to. This is called Atlanta is Burning. Two years we've been fighting, though it seems like a hundred. Away to the south, there's a home I once knew, where my loved ones are waiting. From the captain That the battle has ended For the gray and the blue I left dear old Georgia On the first day of April The grass in the valley Was just turning green I married my Sally just a week before leaving We now have a baby That I've never seen She wrote me a letter That told of our baby He's just like his daddy Are the words that it said But that's been so long now that it seems like forever And Lord, I'm so homesick I wish I was dead
Jason Berry with his fiddle. <laughs> Masterpiece arrangement of a real American anthem. The principal component of the soundtrack from that Civil War documentary about 30 years ago. That's entitled A Shokin' Farewell. I think you got to her, Jason. She's, she's coming unhinged down here. Yeah. It's that song I sang to her. <laughs> Was her name Suzanne? No, her name is Laura. We're back into the Industrial Strength album, the 2021 Bluegrass Album of the Year. It includes the Radio Ramblers, our Reading, Writing, Route 23 song. It's quite autobiographical for me. And uh, so much of the album is personal to me. I, I grew up right there in the middle of Bluegrass history. It's about the songs that were recorded or written or connected to southwestern Ohio, bluegrass, and many that lead right straight to the Bluegrass Hall of Fame. Said Red Allen. Red was an old Kentuckian that wound up in Dayton as about a 15-year-old, made a lot of history with the Osborne brothers in their early years. Uh, then Red and his sons, the Allen brothers, they were really a hot item at bluegrass festivals in the 70s. Uh, Greg and Ronnie and Harley and Neil were the Allen brothers, Harley Allen wound up writing some of the top bluegrass songs in our area as a youngster. Then he hit Nashville and flat took over. If you ever heard The Baby by Blake Shelton, written by Dayton's Harley Allen. Uh, and the list goes on and on. The Little Girl by John Michael Montgomery, written by uh, Harley Allen. Um, tons of songs from Garth Brooks to Alan Jackson. Uh, Between the Devil and Me, Alan Jackson, Harley Allen song. <laughs> Harley and a Dayton banjo player named Mike Lilly were partnered up in the early 80s, uh, about the time I started following bluegrass festivals and trying to figure all this out. So for the Industrial Strength Bluegrass album, it's an all-star collection. There, there's uh, 15 or 20 different bands and, and all-star musicians like Sierra Hull in the album and Jerry Douglas and so many others. Uh, Mo Pitney is one of our favorite youngsters in country music these days. Mo and brother Tim Rabin did the vocal work on this Harley Allen classic. Adam McIntosh been singing a song since he was a little guy growing up there in the Dayton area. This is called Suzanne. On a Friday night, drink a little beer, wishing Susan here. Face like a summer sky, an angel must have chose Susan like nobody knows. Susan going down the road, carrying everybody's load. Susan, I can see your smile. Can't you stop and talk to me a while? Every day when the morning sun comes up to shine Remember Suzanne once was mine She used to say sweet thing You better walk the line Sad songs will get you every time Suzanne going down the road Carrying everybody's load Suzanne I can see your smile Can't you stop and talk to me a while Can't you stop and talk to me a while? Can't you stop and talk to me a while? <laughs> How y'all done?
Jeff, come here and sing them a little train song. Let's do them a couple train songs. Like do one for these fine folks. Would you really? Y'all had a good time tonight. <laughs> well, we have two. I put this song here on one of my CDs, Joe. That you want me to do? I don't have any with me, but, <laughs> but you ain't got this one with you. No, I sold out. Did you? Yeah. Well, you know what? When I put this project out, I uh, just don't even do it then. Uh, no, come on, man. <laughs> Uh, when I put this project out, you know, it had done really good, and the first order, it went cardboard. Oh, all the way, and, baby, all the way. And I haven't been able to reorder, but you can go to my website if you want one. Uh -huh. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> we uh, we would like to see you again. We're going to do a couple more things and wrap it up. We know some folks got to go to work in the morning. Maybe not everybody in this crowd. Who's got to go to work in the morning? Four people got a job. <laughs> We'd like to see you again. We're back in Missouri in just a couple of weeks. Branson, already their Bluegrass and Barbecue Festival is working now through uh, Memorial Day. And we're there on Sunday and Monday, two days, at Silver Dollar City's Bluegrass and Barbecue Festival. Uh, we, we'll be crisscrossing through here uh, and all over the map. So um, look online. RadioRamblers.com Dot com. That wasn't the right key, Jason. <laughs> RadioRamblers.com <laughs> It's called Just Catch a Train and Ride. Uh, here we go. I 
I'd like to keep on going, it helps me when I'm blue. I get the urge to travel, that's all I want to do. I know that I can't settle down because I've got the moon. And when I hear that whistle blow, I've got the moon along. Goodbye, so long, there's something down the track keeps calling me. Goodbye, so long, I guess that's just the way I'll always be. So when I get that feeling, don't try and hold me back. I'll only leave you crying in the smoke along the track. I know my baby loves me, I love my baby too But she don't understand me when I'm feeling so blue And when I hear that whistle blow, I'll hurry home and pack I'm gonna leave her crying in the smoke along the track Goodbye so long, I hate to leave you, but I've got to go Goodbye so long, it's coming, I just heard that whistle blow You'll be here in a minute, you'll wait and I'll look back I'm gonna leave you crying in the smoke along the track
Thank you very much. Can we come back sometime? Nobody's leaving. <laughs> Even the Ford's got to work in the morning still here. <laughs> we'll do two more. <laughs> That's all we know. We know two more. You've been a wonderful audience. We really appreciate a nonprofit that's worked hard enough to consistently have uh, a room full of Roots Music fans uh, for anything and everything. And we appreciate the focal point, their leadership. <laughs> we would like to see you again. How many folks have seen the Radio Ramblers for the very first time tonight? You've never seen our show before. Right. Two thirds of the crowd. Uh, we hope that uh, it, it suited you okay and that you'll tell somebody else next time we're through town and we'll do it again sometime. Or, or find us online and come see us again as soon as you can. We do have some dear friends here that have encouraged us for uh, dozens of shows for the last several years. We appreciate you. We'll do two more songs. This one, we hadn't put it in the set list until now. It's a very special tune. It was the first thing we sang on the Grand Ole Opry when we made our debut almost nine years ago. The song has since taken on a whole new meaning, and because of that, we sang it on the Opry again just last month. Uh, it's a song about giving each other some grace and some space. We've learned how to do that in a new way. As tragic and terrible and awful as the pandemic was, uh, hopefully in some way, it's made us slow down just enough to not think so much about ourselves, but think about others. You might be sitting next to somebody that lost a dear family member or had their whole world turned upside down because they had to change jobs. Um, we, we don't know exactly what's happening uh, with the people that are sitting around us. And it's that way always, always has been, always will be. That's why we give each other some grace and some space. This song explains it in such a good way. It's called Some Kind of War. On the highway in the town The man behind her honked his horn Saying put that cell phone down You're gonna make me late to work And honey I ain't got all day He didn't know her dad was on the line Telling her her mom just passed away hard to know what someone's going through Unless you're standing right there in their shoes It's not always on CNN Or on some distant shore Life itself can be a battlefield And we're all fighting some kind of war Sleeps out in the alley Out behind the corner bar People look at him and wonder How he ever sang that far The fire was seven years ago When his wife and children died And when he lost his family He lost his self-respect and pride It's hard to know what someone's going through Unless you're standing right there in their shoes It's not always on CNN Or on some distant shore Life itself can be a battlefield And we're all fighting some kind of war Lord help me stop and understand 
understand Before I rush to judge my fellow man It's not always on CNN It's down the street and right next door Life itself can be a battlefield And we're all fighting some kind of war Life itself can be a battlefield And we're all fighting some kind of war